Hey guys, it is Christmas when this video is going out. I'm actually recording this on Christmas Eve because I always think it's kind of weird to record videos way ahead of time for holiday events and you sort of miss out on a little bit of the sent sentimental aspect of it. So it's Christmas Eve. I'm filming this to two things. One, to, to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, right? I'm not religious or anything like that, but we, Christmas is Christmas, right? Um uh, so happy holidays uh, to to everybody out there, and uh, two to sort of say what I'm thankful for is something I do around Thanksgiving and Christmas, and you know I think it's a healthy thing to do to really understand a little bit about yourself, hopefully about those around you, and you know really center yourself in a world where it seems to have be going crazy a lot. Sometimes people get very full of themselves. Sometimes people get too too motivated where they're plagiarizing content and things like that or they're they're going out and, you know, doing shady things for money reasons. And I, I think it's healthy to at least once or twice a year try and sort of center ourselves and remind ourselves of the person we want to be. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. Dev Mountain has various programs from iOS development to UI UX, full stack web development, and quality assurance. I actually had the pleasure of visiting one of their campuses about two years ago in Provo when they still had a location there. And it was a fantastic experience just to be able to meet everybody, see the campus. And it, one thing that's unique about them is they actually include housing with their tuition. So if you're interested, check the link in the description below. You know, the world's um, kind of crazy and upside down for, God, it seems like every week I, I hear about some aspiring software engineer that, or, um, you know, up and coming YouTuber or somebody that just seems to lose themselves a little bit. And I, I can't say that I'm a perfect individual, so I don't want to criticize people by name or anything like that. But I, I think part of it is in society, we get so wrapped up in the immediate, we get so focused on the money, we get so focused on, you know, this idea of keeping up with the Joneses and all this other craziness that goes on that sometimes we we lose we don't really think about why we do it right like I've joked in the past about why did I want to make more money um uh, well it was to solve my to solve poverty and hunger my own right that, that, that it's like that was what I was trying to solve and I, I solved that and you know now there's other reasons um but, you know, I, I want, I hope you, I hope, I guess why I try and say this is sometimes the things that motivate you change. And I, I think oftentimes you need to start thinking about who you are and who you want to be. Um, you know, uh, I forget where Matthew McConaughey gave that sort of talk about who his hero is at some awards show, but he essentially said his hero is him 10 years from now, right? The person he's trying to be. And, in order for us to be humble, in order for us to actually go and achieve that, we have to, to some degree, say that we're we're not happy with who we are. That's okay. Maybe not happy with who we are. We're not who we want to be, and that's okay. But we're working hard to get there, and along the way, we want to be thankful for what we have, right? And I know... I know I'm thankful for what I have, you know, um, it's, I, I was talking to April this morning and, you know, I'm working on Christmas Eve, right? That takes a very understanding, significant other, right? I promised I'd watch the, the Witcher with Netflix on her and I sat through 30 minutes before I was like, yo, I, I gotta go work, baby. I, I just... I'm not feeling this, right? And she understands. She's She may not be thrilled by it, but she understands that we have certain goals and things that I'm trying to meet down the road that this isn't always going to be the case, right? This isn't always going to be the scenario and that I will have time to watch, to binge watch The Witcher with you. <laughs> um, but I, I'm thankful to have a understanding person 
in my life, you know. I'm uh I'm I'm thankful to have friends who, you know, have why I've been in, in Florida to make these friends, right? It's not easy as you get older making new friends. It's actually quite hard, right? I mean, once you leave college, once you leave high school where you're just surrounded by a bunch of people in the same age range and um, interested in the same hobbies and things like that, it's not the easiest thing in the world to move across country and to have people who like you. Like, I'm a, I'm a somewhat awkward guy. I, I'm not a super social guy. I'm not super out there. I don't, you know, when when strangers are around me, I, it's, it's hard for me to talk to them. I, you know, that's not how I roll. And that's okay. And I've accepted that. And I've learned that about me. And that's how I've always been. Like, one story for any of you who would ever meet my father, I don't know what you would, but some of you, I'm uh, if you ever met him, what he would essentially say is he would tell you a story at some point in time about how my younger brother who would go and like, I'd be too afraid to like go and get something from like the, the hot dog vendor as a kid. And my younger brother would go and do it for me. And like, that's sort of the, the anxiety and, and stress that comes with all that. And as an adult, you know, I, I go get my own hot dogs. All right. <laughs> but, and I'm much better, but still there, there is something that there's some difficulty for me to make friends and make those connections. And, you know, as, especially as you grow older, you new community. When I came to Florida, I knew nobody, never been to Florida, had zero people, never had a phone call with somebody in Florida, except the person who interviewed me for the job in Florida. Now, you know, three and a half, four years later, I've, I have a lot of good friends who I, even when I leave, I plan on continuing these relationships on. And, you know, we had a holiday party over here and, you know, we had 15 friends that showed up and that was fantastic. And I'm thankful that that happened. And um, thankful that they keep me very humble too. <laughs> um, and oddly enough, I'm, uh, I'm thankful. I never really thought I'd say this. I'm thankful for my current job. Not because like, oh, it pays the bills, but generally speaking, after two bad jobs, I have grown to appreciate, you know, the people say, you know, you see these stupid quotes, but there's some, there's some truth to it about how, People stay at jobs for their bosses and leave jobs because of their bosses. And I, I've been lucky enough to have two bosses who are very supportive of what I try and do, right? You know, uh, I was I was talking to my um, my director the other day, and uh, I, I, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I just gave the conference talk, and I'm, uh, I'm flying out to... Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm partnering up with LinkedIn Learning. I'm doing a, a course on object-oriented programming with TypeScript. And we're just sort of doing our one-on-one -on -one talking. He's like, hey, man, you're killing it. In no time, you're going to be the, you know, you're going to be John Pop. You're going to be uh, John Pop as I listen. John Pop is going to be the next deal in Israel. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to have somebody who's supportive of that. Because let me tell you, I've had roles where they don't like that you go out there and put stuff out it's crazy to think right and i've had roles turn me down because they don't they're worried about anybody having a public persona and even worse than that i've had roles turn me down which is a good thing in reality where they don't they don't want you to do anything other than them like your soul belongs to us <laughs> and i'm i'm very thankful not to be working with um an organization like that and i'm pretty happy with that and um, i'm especially thankful to be doing full remote that is a fantastic thing and something that i i have grown quite attached to and it's quite quite nice i'm very very thankful for that because it it has changed um it's helped me in numerous ways right um april is doing a coding boot camp i'm able to break myself away for five minutes to go help her when she's stuck. I, I'm able to go down and see her on my lunch break. You know, if I go and take a walk, I can snag her with me real quick. I do it when I'm in my office. I got the dogs around me, which is nice. And it's just a much more comfortable environment. So these are things that, you know, this year I'm very thankful for. And it's stuff I, I appreciate and I value, right? These are things that I value and, you know, 
there's some very practical things and then there's some sort of mushy gushy things at the end of the day and i value them all and i'm you know i i can appreciate that they may not always be there so i need to enjoy them while i can and work very hard to keep these things and to do that i i have to remember you know remember the person i am slash was and continue to be that person in order to continue to gain these items and keep them to keep the things i value right um you know that social value in a, in a sense and not maybe give in to my inner demons <laughs> not that there's many demons but uh i just don't have a better word for it um given to temptation <laughs> um but with that being said, guys, um, I want to just, again, say a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I, I wish you all the best. And, you know, if there's one thing I, I would tell you this holiday is that for those of you who are alone, um, you know, you're not as alone as you think. Everyone's, you know, oftentimes as developers, we're so, we sometimes box ourselves in, but we have a whole community of software engineers out there and aspiring software engineers and designers and scrum masters. And, you know, it's IT is one of the fastest growing organizations, uh, like job departments in the world and continues to just grow and be an excellent field. And more and more people are jumping into it. And you'll have, you know, there's a lot of people out there to share your common interests. So if you're feeling alone, join, you know, a Facebook group or, you know, um, go w start watching live streams where you start becoming part of community and sort of, you know, um, don't feel as alone on the holidays as you think you are because you're not. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. There are links to my courses in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell or smash that like button while you're at it. And if you're interested, I just released my latest course, the 100 Front End Technical Question Challenge, which is there to help you pass those front end technical interviews. There's over 100 questions. You can get it for just $9.99. The link is in the description below or use coupon code CODINGGOD.